Hi, my name is Ken Stillman, and I've been asked to show how to uh, download uh, some of my software on the newer Macs. So this is the instructions for the newer Macs. You would open up your system's preference, uh, preferences and click on the security button, which is right here. And once you do that, uh, you once it opens up, uh, you would click on General, and then uh, on, on the General, you would also click uh, this anywhere. Now, if you can't uh, change this, it's because this, this is locked. So unlock this after uh, and, and click on anywhere. So that'll make it available for you to now download. Go ahead and download that. And after, you after the download is complete, then return it uh, to the original settings, OK? So that's, that's basically the way you do it. Once you've downloaded it, uh, in this case, this was made for uh, balloon, for deco builder. And, uh, and so it shows you how to do your uh, the deco builder download. Once it's downloaded, it puts it at the side of your desk here. Let me see if I can, if that'll open up. Anyhow, here's the download, and then once you unarchive it or you uh, unzip it, then it will. Uh, then what you do is you open the new file, and it'll ask you this question, and then you double click on this icon, the icon that that the software is created in, uh, and then it'll ask you if you want to open that application and go ahead and and click open, and then. Uh, you start with uh, the design library. Now, if it's another software, which in this case, um, someone asked me uh, for the bouquet maker, uh, you have basically the same situation. You have all of these, uh, the projector and this. Uh, what I would do right here is go ahead and click on the deluxe projector. Now, some of the newer Macs won't work with that, and you can hit the uh, bouquet deluxe here and uh, and that will work the SWF file but in this case we're going to go ahead and double click the uh, deluxe uh, projector I'm going to open it up um, is it opening yes it is very slowly Okay, now it takes a while for this to fill because there's a lot of uh, you know, photographs in, inside here. So we'll wait for it to fill up. All right, these are all the balloons that are inside here and, and things can be changed. Now, if you go across here, I'm just going to click 11 um, and that's where I want to start. I also... Uh, it, just to get get you started, uh, let's let's just click some red red balloons. Okay, so that's basically the way it works. Now, if you wanted to put some red happy faces in there, you could do that, and you could also put uh, I don't know Happy Valentine's Day. Well, well, let's put this heart this heart up at the top. Now you see that that's way too tall you can come up here and shrink this so that it fits within the realm uh, let's see we still have this to do you could either do this or you could come over here and put one of those on there also hit this red button here and you can change the color of all the strings um, I put a button here because really there's uh, no sense of having all of these you could go here and click on them and, and, and uh, delete them one at a time. Uh, you can go in there and delete these strings so they're not in the way. But it's easier. I just made a button here to get rid of anything but what's in this area here. So anyhow, that's the way it works. Uh, just play around with it. Uh, you can add like this here. And again, shrink it down if you need to. Um, and then, all right, so now you can, the way that you would save this or send it to a client, this is what they're going to get, 
would be Command Shift 4. If you have a Mac, go ahead and go around that. And it takes a picture right here and puts it up here. Now, this is a PNG and can be uh, and can be sent, emailed uh, to your client. So anyhow, that's the way it works. Uh, thanks for watching this video.